Good morning. Black Friday. Put my glasses on because I can't drive <laughs> without my glasses or contacts. And I'm not one of those people that likes to line up for anything at all, not even groceries. I'll take the self-checkout, thank you very much. But yeah, today um, I'm going to pick up one item. I know everyone was rushing for like the Google Assistant thing and I know my brothers went crazy for it. So they were out there before the store opened. Where's Angel? Do we see him? Angel Bird. <laughs> Do you guys see him? Hi. Hi. <laughs> So, yeah, now you say hi. So yeah, my brothers went out for the uh, Google Assistant thing. And I am going out for... I don't want to yell so the neighbors are like, Who are you talking to? This camera thing. And they don't, they don't know. They don't know I do YouTube too. They don't know. I, don't want, I, don't, I actually don't tell anybody. <laughs> it's like my secret Batman identity. So yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm going to a store called Canadian Tire to pick up something to cook with. It's called an instant pot. Let me get in the car. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> so it's called... Let's get the car going. It's called an instant pot. And what I really like about it... Let me just make sure the radio's not on. Yeah, no copyright stuff, please. Okay, I think it's good. So yeah, I, I'm getting this thing called an instant pot where it actually cooks things really quickly. It's kind of like a pressure cooker, but I think it's faster. Um, so it would cook like, if you were making a stew with like really hard meat, it would take half an hour or maybe even 22 minutes. I think my brother did in 22 minutes instead of like three hours. And I love making these stews. So yeah, I need one of those. Oh, can you see? I don't know if you guys can see. It's, it's like, I can see the little, the little um, steam. Thing, heat leaving my body, it's pretty cold. So here we are. I really didn't expect there to be that many people. Let's let's see what we can get. There's a lot of people here. My guess is maybe Christmas stuff. I'm whispering because people are like, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> we don't have that many vloggers here. And uh, so people talking to themselves with the camera always seems like a weird thing. So yeah. It's cold, guys. Canadian Tire. How can I explain this? They kind of want to be a hardware store, but they have food in there too, so I don't know what's the equivalent in the US. I guess you guys will see. Stick with them. Oh no. Can't be over already. Okay, I got it. They had a whole row of it. I knew it wouldn't be done because that's a cooking thing and we're mostly here for technology stuff. Let's pick our guy. So this is what it's called. Yeah. Alright, you're coming home. Mm, Christmas. They entice you with all this food on the lineup. So you're like, you know what? I did want me some chips. But you don't want chips. Purchase done. Look at this parking lot. It's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know what people are buying. I have no idea. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> the gentleman in front of me was buying batteries. So obviously he forgot what day it was today. Or he just really urgently needed some batteries. So I'm curious, do you guys have something kind of like Canadian Tire, which has like automotive stuff and kitchen stuff and food and, and garden stuff? It's, it's not like home hardware because there's way less of home hardware stuff. And when you buy their products, they also give you their Canadian Tire money, which can only be spent over there. Kind of changed my mind. I was going to go home and then... I was like, you know what? I watched this video last night from Peaceful Cuisine. If you guys don't know Peaceful Cuisine, amazing, amazing channel. 
just cooks and it's really peaceful. <laughs> I guess that's the name of the channel, Peaceful Cuisine. And he made hummus pasta. I was like, that's genius. I never thought of hummus pasta. And the way he made it was the right way because a lot of pe or people don't put tahini sauce in their hummus. So that's how we usually do it in Egypt. So when he did it that way, I'm like, oh my gosh, that that's probably tastes really good. So I saw that, he made it, and I was like, you know what? I want hummus pasta. That looks absolutely delicious. And the, the grocery store is right next, right over there. <laughs> right over there, let me show you. It's right here. That, that building there with the brown and the gray on the other sides. So I'm kind of going the lazy way because this brand actually puts tahini, where'd it go? If you look here, tahini inside here, and it's non-GMO, so can't go wrong with that. I'm gonna go the lazy way because this is pretty yummy. All right, now we're gonna look for the quinoa pasta, which I doubt is here. Let's keep looking. Could it be in here? Joshes. Oh, I see pastas. I think these are traditional wheat pastas. Oh my gosh, spaghetti is my weakness, guys. It's my biggest weakness ever. If I have pasta in front of me, I will not say no. I will not say no. Mm, maybe the pasta is going to be on the other side. Oh, brown rice. <laughs> I know you guys are like, what, Jackie? What's wrong? I don't like brown rice. I don't like the taste. I don't like the texture. There's nothing about it that is yummy. Okay, where is it? Okay. Quinoa spaghetti, gluten-free, vegan. Okay, um, it's pretty pricey. I don't think I've ever paid that much. And I don't even know if it's gonna be any good. Uh, I guess I could- Yeah, son. I brought on mice? No. All right, so even though I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna do Vlogmas, which I'm hoping I could, I did an intro, so here it is. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Where is it? So it's pretty much, <laughs> it's just pretty much the same intro, just changed, put the hat, vlogmas, and music. Short and sweet. <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Guys, oh my god, I got my books from, I hope I'm saying it right, Rehan or Rehan, that's how I'm hearing it. I can't show you. I can, oh, you know what? I'm showing you guys. <laughs> this is good packaging. I didn't expect it to come this soon because I think I ordered it last week. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I love her work. She is super talented. Her style is absolutely wonderful. So I ordered two of her, um, what's it called? Mini books. One of them is kind of like a line work, and the other one is an art book. Okay, so these are the two that I got, the mini line art collection. So these are her two smaller books. So, oh my gosh, she is absolutely fantastic. I love this girl. I love her so much. She's so talented. I guess I'll show you guys a bit of a preview in better lighting so that you can properly and fully appreciate the way she does things and then we have a line art collection which is going to be so awesome to color so i want to photocopy these and color them with my copics because you guys know that i will not <laughs> i will not i refuse the color inside my coloring books so yeah these are the two books that i got you handsome puppy Splinter, leave him alone. Leave the bird alone. Angel, are you provoking him? Huh? Yeah, of course you are. You're a little disturber, aren't you? Yeah, I knew you would. Oh, and I forgot to say, in, in the notes when I was buying, I said, please sign the art book. Ta-da! <laughs> yes! Oh, she's so good. 
a cute little piece sign right there. Yeah, I always ask for artists to sign their work, but this one, yeah, she signed that one too. Yay! 